you want to make sure that you are not the weakest link in the security line that everyone's holding up for. So one of the tricks I do when I'm walking through the security line that I taught Kelsey about is put my purse in the tray, jacket, whatever I have to do. And then I pull my Pullman and then I put it on right at the last minute. And so that also gives other people space to start putting their stuff on and you're not pushing and pushing and pushing stuff. So that's like a little thing that I started a long time ago and it really makes a difference for me. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Better Together. When you know better, you get better. That's our goal here every single day. Our quote for today, just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. And that's from the Dalai Lama himself, friends. Just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. That's why I like starting my day outside and saying, mm-hmm. today's going to be a great day. And I hug the sun. <laughs> and I love it. It works. <laughs> I bet it does. It really does. I've been starting my mornings. Uh, Dr. Allison said the first thing you have to do is go outside and be in the sun for 15 minutes. First mm. thing in the morning is first thing you do. So I've been on that track and, uh, and I bring my green tea out with me sometimes. I put my feet in the grass and I do my grounding. So good. And it feels so good to start the day. And then I loop into the kitchen and I get my supplements and I pop those down and then I I start getting ready or I'll switch it up and eat breakfast first. Sometimes I'll get ready, then I'll eat breakfast later. Just keep moving it around. I love that. Little Dr. Joeing, there right? You go. Gotta keep the, the routine different. My routine was different this morning. You wanna what know what do? happened? Uh oh. <laughs> My, I always um, cook my egg in the morning for my avocado toast and it set my fire alarm off. Oh, beautiful. So that was my morning this morning. I'm like fanning and it wouldn't stop. And so it's so, it's super sensitive because it's a new one. So uh-huh. I had to put my fan underneath it. Yeah. That was my different morning this morning. Queen, do you eat an egg every single day? Yeah, I do. On my avo toast, I do my um, grain free bread that I'm obsessed with and then avo- half an avocado, a little bit of hemp seeds and an egg. But I'm going to try a little variety. Well, but I, it's so funny with my stomach. Like if I don't do that, then things don't move and groove. What about like a chia pudding? Doesn't really move and groove. Really? Yeah. I've always been that way though. With, like I can switch up lunch and dinner, but breakfast, I have to be like, do the same. Wow. But I do want to switch to um, potentially duck eggs because I'm hearing they're better than chicken. So I'll keep you guys posted. Oh my God. Hilarious. <laughs> Um, I will say I've been using Dr. Zach Bush's gut, the ion, um, the ion gut stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was already, okay. So I had a lot of bloating issues in the last at least year or two. And, um, there's some stuff going on in my stomach and intestines. There's, you know, some little things going on after my endoscopy and colonoscopy that we discovered. So I have looked like I have like, like one of those mini basketballs. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say full basketball. Sometimes it would get full basketball, but really like a mini basketball. And that wasn't me. And so Dr. Allison had put me on the SBI protect stuff. Mm -hmm. And when I switched over to the capsules and started doing two at morning, two at night, I started noticing my stomach going down. And then I added the gut ion stuff from Dr. Bush. Um, So I've only been doing it for like four or five days and my stomach was officially flat this morning. Now, I've also cut gluten pretty much. Like I barely am eating any gluten, very, very rarely. Had a little sushi last night. So there were like a little, maybe a quarter of a cup of rice I had, but it's making a huge difference. Well, and even... Rice is gluten free, so you're good in that department. Mm-hmm. Holla! I have to ask about. So you guys will hear this. Zach oh, rice Bush. is gluten free. Yeah, girl, you're good. Oh, that's why the rice hasn't been bothering me. I've been eating so little because I'm and, so scared. And white rice is honestly one of the easiest grains to digest. So whoa, dude, you're in the clear. You oh. are in the clear. But I have to say, you guys are going to be so obsessed. We have a two part episode with Dr. Zach Bush coming up, mm-hmm. and it's mind blowing. And you'll hear about this product. But Maria, are you just putting it in? Your water? Like, are you doing... I'm just drinking it out of the teaspoon. Oh. It has no taste. It's amazing. It almost tastes like water. Okay. Right. Have you not been doing it? I put it in my water, but maybe I should do it just straight and yeah, not Yeah, you don't want to dilute it. Okay. Um, but I'm like blown away. 
So I'm like, okay, I did. Um, I actually have a before and after. Um, I'll I'll make sure it's a safe before and after before I show it. But my stomach, like literally, you see the bowling ball that I was I was starting with, and I I started taking pictures maybe two weeks ago because I've been chronicling everything I'm eating and kind of keeping a food journal to see how I can get everything back on track. And so I was doing the photos and boom, like I went from, you know, basketball to flat stomach today. Wow. And I was like, hallelujah. That's awesome. Yeah. It feels really good. So um, anyway, now that you're going to get with Dr. Allison, you will too. I'm so sure. excited. I, I was, I was a, uh, cheering so I had to go press my button but I'm so excited I'm excited I just can't wait you. to geek out with her like listening to you guys geek out it was fun yeah anyways if you didn't hear the episode Kelsey came with me to my appointment where she got to hear some pretty miraculous um changes in my blood work and so she was uh you know fly on the wall just watching and and just when you get to see Dr. Allison and her and her uh, element, it's pretty awesome. She's really, really brilliant and just is an insatiable reader, I think, and researcher. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, Heel Squad, thank you for being with us. Welcome back. Today, Kelsey was inspired for me to chat with you all about how <laughs> how to level up your travel game, friends. Uh, and so we were on a trip recently and I was uh, I was teaching her my tricks of the trade. And I think that, you know, we've traveled before. So I think you've already implemented some things definitely, because you were definitely not where you were before. So Thank you're, you. you're, you're, you're getting better. I'm getting queen. there. <laughs> um, but uh, I feel like uh, since she wants me to do this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to share it with you guys and we'll do it in the newsletter as well. So you guys have visuals and stuff, but first and foremost, when you are traveling, so we use the term in the house as a joke, like there's civilians and then there's the non-civilians in any kind of thing, right? So if you're in the military, they call non-military civilians. And so Kevin adopted that and it's just been a funny way to kind of term things. So there are civilian travelers and non-civilian travelers, which really is just like there's the people who can like effortlessly do it and then the people who really are struggling. And I watch people struggle at the airport all the time. I see the people who are carrying, and it's usually us women with our adorable totes, and they're filled to the max. And you're, you know, you're not perpendicular because that would be forward, but what's the perpendicular to the side? You're just, cock died. you're the leaning piece of, <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then you're wondering why you have back problems and everything hurts because the body's not supposed to be doing that. And so, I'm going to invent a suitcase for us that is going to change all of that. I'm working on it because it's such a frustration point for me too, because I know you have your, your Pullman, your carry on, and then we all still need more space. So Queenie over here had this massive backpack and the, the girl is carrying more weight in that backpack <laughs> than she is with her body. Yeah, probably. I mean, it was extreme, but I get it. We have a lot of stuff, right? And packing is so hard. I watch Kevin suffer. I suffer, even though I'm good at it, I still suffer. And so it was my last trip a few months ago where I was like, that is it. I'm coming up with solutions. I can't do this anymore. And so... I've mentioned before in the show, but um, my favorite new thing is is organizing all of my stuff in these see-through mesh packets. If you go to the website, where are they housed under in the in the shop page, Kelsey? That's a great question. I will get back to you because please hold. It's probably under home uh, that's right what now. I would we're going to reorganize we... home and any of, all of that, but they're on there. And they're brilliant because you can see through. So everybody carries pouches, right? Little zipper pouches. You don't know what the heck's in that thing. So I have my my tech one where it's like all my wires and chargers and ear pods and all of that, boom, in there. I have the things I need on the plane. Because you know when you get to your seat, you have to pull everything you need out of your bag because they make you put it above if you're in the you know front row of your section and there's like a, the, the wall or... 
If you want to have more leg space, you got to put it above, but you want the things that you need to access. So I'm able to grab those mesh pockets really easily. So there's the tech one, and then there's the one with, you know, my hand lotion and hand sani and the little things, lip balm, all of that is in that other pouch. Um, and then from there, I organize the other things, like if I need my supplements on the plane with me or medication or whatever it is. So I organize it like that. That's been game changing. I know your mom, Deb, has been obsessed with that too, she right? She loves it. She literally loves it. And you guys, it's actually in a blog. So I'm going to link the blog in the summary. And then also when we, when we redo the little homepage, well, they'll be up on there too. Well, we will have them up for you. So we'll have you them up for you. Just, they will be on the shop page after this show. So just go to the shop page and we'll keep it very simple. Just go into the home section and we'll create a travel, travel section, section at some point. Yeah. Maybe but we do that. My mom is obsessed with them. I sent her the link because she struggles a lot with that where it's like, she's always had this massive purse and I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Yeah. I think we need a travel section. Yeah. Let's create so it today. So after Done. this, we're going to have a travel section <laughs> and inspired by this episode. Um, and so that's definitely how I organize my bag. Now, what I've been doing, and I did on my um, on the site, I believe, I showed you how I created my kit. So I have a master kit for when I travel that has my toiletries, my makeup, and my hair stuff. And it's just in one tote kit thing. And, um, and I love it because all I have to do is make a little sticky note or, you know, in the hotel, you know, there's a notepad. I make a little note at the end of each trip of what needs replacing or, um, or, uh, refills so that I can remember. So when I go home and I unpack, I always open it and say, did I need to refill anything for the next trip? And then if I do, I do it right then and there. Um, and then I'm good to go for the next trip. So that's toiletries. Now you don't have to worry about toiletries all the time. You just make a kit and it's ready to go. And yes, it's a bit of an investment, to have, but if you are somebody who travels a lot, it's worth the investment so that you don't have to keep packing and unpacking and keep packing and unpacking. That's what I do because I do travel a lot. So that is a staple. Then um, I I also am going to start um, having kind of prepackaged like, um, uh, oh wait, no, I already did that. I did the supplements. So my supplements, instead of having them in the bottles, I put them in Ziploc bags and I label the Ziploc bags. And it's so easy because it's now another flat item that can go in there. I used to do the trays, but the trays are a little bulky. Like the, the Ziplocs are so flat and easy. And then I pack, you know, I make a lot of them in there so that it's not something I have to replace all the time. So I have like a month supply or something. There's there's a, a good deal of them you can do as you wish. Um, the biggest thing I think is your travel kind of outfit and how much you're bringing on the plane with you. So Queenie decided to wear her Doc Martens because <laughs> she had an obsession with wearing her Doc Martens apple picking. And so when I'm packing, Which I didn't even do, so... Which you didn't even wear them. <laughs> So, and they're very heavy. They're not meant for a day of travel. I made the mistake when I was coming home from the Ed Milet event, I wore, because I was going right from the plane to a basketball game, I just wore my, my loafers um, and th my, uh, they're, um, they're heavy like loafers. They're not soft loafers. What do you call those things? Mules. They're like mules. Really, really heavy. Chunky, yeah. Really hard to walk in. And I suffered and that was my one move that I did, but I did it to make my life easier on the other side because we were going to be late for the basketball game and I just wanted to fly and not have to go to the bathroom and change and open my suitcase and that whole deal. But you got to be comfortable, but you can look cute and be comfortable. And that's something that for me, I always say you always want to look your best. It doesn't mean you have to like you know, look like you're going to prom, but you want to look presentable. You never know who you're going to bump into. And so for me, my dad always trained me to always look my best whenever I was out. And so I try and, uh, and I have my different airport outfits that I love. So what we'll do in the travel section is I'll put all my airport, out airport outfits so that you can get a little bit of inspo on that. And by the way, these are all things that you'd wear in your regular life too. It's not like just an airport outfit, but I've dubbed certain things, my airport things. I like a hoodie on a plane. 
Um, I like warm things. I like loose on the knees. I don't know how people wear tight jeans. I don't understand it. Uh, it's to me, I'm so claustrophobic and I need to be able to move around and, and feel comfortable. So I always try to find like really nice casual wear that's, that's cute, but also comfortable or my Lululemon leggings have been a staple for a really long time on travel. Um, and comfy sneakers and comfy socks, my Bomba socks, which by the way, we should put on there in the travel section. So I have Hue socks. I'm sure you guys have seen Hue socks where they're kind of, you know, ankleless. They're just like these little slip ons and those are great. But the Bombas ones are like clouds. They're really soft. And whenever I'm going into my, my sock drawer, I always just reach for those because they're so comfortable. And I only go to the other ones when I don't have those clean. So your socks and your sneakers are really important because you're walking a lot and you got to be comfy and they got to be easy to get on and off. So when you're going through security, you want to make sure that you are not the weakest link in the security line that everyone's holding up for. So one of the tricks I do when I'm walking through the security line that I taught Kelsey about is put my purse in the tray, jacket, whatever I have to do. And then I pull my Pullman and then I put it on right at the last minute. And so that also gives other people space to start putting their stuff on and you're not pushing and pushing and pushing stuff. So that's like a little thing that I started a long time ago and it really makes a difference for me. Um, and then you want things that you can get on and off easy. So I was teaching Kelsey because she was complaining about how heavy her <laughs> boots were. She's like, these were the wrong boots to wear. Wrong we, are, we were just in the car going to the airport. She was already, <laughs> oh gosh, I made the, the, the not great move here. Yeah. And so <laughs> to, um, to remind her of how she was never going to do this again, I made it through TSA really fast. She is sitting there. She, the line, it took her forever because she's got all these things and bags and, da, 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 and the shoes. <laughs> and so there she is suffering to get her boots it's on. The worst picture ever. It's and so funny. I took the picture and I texted it to her. I go, this is your last day as a civilian traveler. <laughs> we are fixing this. Um, I'm like, I got you the cutest tennis shoes for your birthday. Wear those next time. You Truly. can pop them on and off and you look adorable and done. And the other thing is when you're packing, so, so now when you're packing, you have to pick and choose, right? You're not going to be able to bring all of your amazing things. So for instance, Kelsey, we were leaving, we were only doing one thing. We were going to this Macy's live event and we were going to go home to Connecticut, which is country land. We don't need to impress anybody in country land. It's like, we're going apple picking. You already had your hair done, blown out. Like you'd already washed and dried your hair. You didn't need to bring your big Revlon brush that takes so much space. So yep. you have to sacrifice, right? You have to think, what can I sacrifice? So I'm not having to put 10 people standing on my suitcase to close it or, or right. trying to rush somewhere. It's like, oh my God, my stuff's everywhere, uh -huh. right? And so um, boots are really challenging to travel with because you can't wear them and be comfortable through traveling. And then they're going to take up so much space in your suitcase. So you really have to pick and choose. And then I always travel with like one pair of jeans and that's it because you don't need three. Like how often do you wash your jeans? Truly? Every two weeks, maybe. Okay. That's extreme. But, anyway. but I only, I also have like <laughs> so many pairs of jeans. Like I'll wear them like twice and then wash them typically. That's my point. Yeah. So on a trip, just bring your one pair right. of jeans that work day to night, Yeah, you know, a, a couple of tops, something to wear to sleep, or right. if you don't, I don't know, people do different things. I like wearing something to sleep because I get cold. Um, and, and you just have to kind of, you know, pick and choose. And then pick your carry-on bag, really, it ideally would have a sleeve to fit over your handles so that you can pull it. And it could be easy for you. Um, I think we need to get you a new suitcase, Queen, because your suitcase is, um, you know, very dainty so that her big backpack can't support it, right? <laughs> I was like, Maria, I can't put it because I have the like thing to put over and I was like, I'll fall. Like the suitcase will not support it. So I agree. That's my next big girl purchase is a nice suitcase. Yes. Because it makes a difference. And, you know, Travel is stressful enough. 
I say it all the time. It's stressful enough. Make it easy on yourself. Don't overfill your bags so that you're suffering and stressing because you know you'll fit it here on the on the way out. On the way back, it isn't going to fit. Yeah. And it's stressful and it's just added stress you don't need. And if you're carrying things that are so heavy and you're hanging over to the side, I only take anything that will fit on top of my suitcase and I can pull it. I don't want to carry anything on my shoulders. The most I'll carry is um, a little fanny if I want to have my passport or my license super handy. But then that also takes us to clear and to TSA pre-check, which I am so surprised people still haven't signed up for TSA pre-check because in global entry, there's all these amazing things that you can do to make your travel easier. Again, for someone who doesn't travel a lot, clear is an expense that is not worth it for you probably because, you know, it's, it's, it's another expense. But if you do, you don't have to use your, you know, your ID or anything. They, they just, you know, photograph your eyes and then they take you to the front of the security line. Boom. It's so easy. It's pretty cool. TSA pre-check, we all know, sometimes those lines can be longer than the regular lines. So you always have, have to watch. But TSA pre-check, you don't have to take off your shoes. You don't have to take off your belts. Like, it makes it easier. Global entry. When you enter the country from wherever you've traveled, there's a, a line that you go to with kiosks. You put your passport in the kiosk. It spits out a little paper for you, and you're off. Done. No lines. You're not in these two hour, three hour lines, right? So it's, these are the things that'll make your life easier. And life is really, really short. And as Kevin said, I pay for convenience. And so if you can also do your homework to get one or two or all of those things on track, your life will be so much better when you travel. And, um, and then if you have one travel bag like you love that backpack yeah and so my my idea for you would be get a better base so that it will stay on top and then just don't pack it to the rim yes and have everything in little mesh packages so that you can grab everything you want easily and then if you're looking for something you just pop the bags out pop them back in it's just simple um and and that's just kind of what I do. For me, I was carrying, um, I have like a kind of suitcase purse and I had it packed to the rim because I didn't want to bring a heavy backpack. But I still am searching for what that in-between thing is because, um, yeah, I, I, I feel like a backpack gets really heavy really fast. It does. And I just think like it's been nice to learn from you traveling because... Even Elena and I this morning were talking. She was like, do you get anxiety when you travel? And I was like, yeah. But I think so much of that comes from all mm-hmm. of this, right? It's yeah. like, it's the packing and it's the this bag. And am I going to forget this? And half the time, you don't even wear half the stuff you bring. You know what I mean? I didn't use my Revlon brush. I didn't need my boots. Like, there's so many things. So it's like, now I'm truly going to implement. And Maria and I were even talking before. I'm like, I've gotten better from where I was. Mm-hmm. But it's like just the evolution, right? So cool. I've only been doing it for like 20 something years, but you're a master. I and, love and it. And by the way, like every week, nonstop travel. So I've been perfecting. And even like I said, I'm still bumping my head and trying to figure it out because it is stressful. And I, and, and I do have, I was having so much um, stress at the night before trying to make sure I had everything. I think the key isn't not, to, is not to pack too early, because if you pack too early, then you're like, oh, but did I put this in? Let me get, let me throw another white t-shirt in. And then you're constantly adding and adding and adding things. So um, the new thing I'm also going to add to my, my new packing protocol is I'm creating my master list of things that absolutely have to be with me at all times. And then um, on the side column, it'll be the extras if it's a longer trip. So the extras for a longer trip would be, you know shampoo and conditioner. Like if I'm going on a quick trip, my hair is already washed and clean. I know I'm not going to wash it. I'm not going to lug all that stuff. So, uh, or a brush or whatever. Like I just, I, I give up on certain things. And so this way there's no room for error. They have these packing lists you can buy at like the container store and stuff. I created one in my first book, the every girl's guide to life. But, um, but now with the mesh pockets, all of my stuff is already packed. It's in a travel drawer. 
It's my tech stuff. It's my supplements. It's my on the plane stuff. It's all packaged, all ready to go. So then I just grab and I use whatever bag I'm going to use. So if I want to travel light, I'll just put it in my purse. If I'm going to travel a little heavier, I'll put it in my backpack. Um, and like, for example, if I need to bring a blanket with me, then I'd have to take my backpack cause I'm going to put that in there. Um, and so, yeah, I think having those things pre-packed makes such a big difference and it, it made all the difference in my last trip because now everything was just ready to go. And, uh, and even like underwear, like if you want to put like underwear in a mesh package and now you know your underwear for the trip, but that's kind of tough because you don't know how long you're going. So I've, I've toyed with even that idea because that gets annoying too <laughs> for me. No, I like it. I also really like the, I'm all about um, past you helping future you. So I'm going to start incorporating your, at the end before you leave, writing that list of like mm-hmm. the refills, because that's something I do have my little things, but I never remember. I'm like, oh crap, I got to refill my lotion or this or that. So I really like past you helping future you. Yeah. And scenario. then you have to have empathy for yourself. So guys, huh. even with all of that, guess who somehow forgot to put her charger for her iPhone in her tech bag? Yeah. I don't know why I took it out, but I must have taken it out for some reason and I never replaced it. So guess who had to borrow Kelsey's? So maybe I'm not such an expert after all. Um, well, we're better together. We are better together. So empathy for yourself when you forget something. Cause I know Kevin really beats himself up a lot because he'll always forget something. Um, but you know, we can only do so much, but these things have helped me make traveling a lot easier. We are going to create a travel section now, just based on this so that I can show you how I travel, what I use, um, my airport outfits, which we can flash a photo, um, up of my most recent airport outfit. So here I am at Logan Airport in Boston. I'm wearing my Nike sneakers because they're super comfy and there's no shoelace situation. They're just kind of loose. And so I slip them on, I slip them off, but usually I'm I'm TSA pre-check, so I don't have to worry about taking them off. Um, Those are some high-waisted nylon pants from Free People that I'm obsessed with. And got maybe a zillion compliments on at the airport and wherever I was. Um, Have we put those up on our shop page yet? Yes, we have. Okay, so you can get those there. The um, crop hoodie is from Story, and I love Story. Oh, my gosh. I just got a new pair of cropped leggings from them that are so cool. Because remember, some of their stuff was like just looser, and it didn't suck you in all the way. These ones actually sucked you in in the best way, where it was like just enough, but they're still soft and loose. Mm. I have to figure out what they're actually called so we can put that up there, but I love those. Because I want those the biker shorts you love too. Yeah, they're really, really great. And so I have my hat attached to my purse. Um, I love my Ramoa suitcase. Um, It is extremely expensive, friends. Um, I, it was a gift to me from my lawyer. He got me and it was the smaller one and I loved it. I'm like, God, I've been so cheap with myself. This would have been such a nice gift for myself. Thank God he got it for me. And then I realized there was a a size up that would fit a few more things. And so I bit the bullet and I got myself a little gift and I love it. But Away has really nice suitcases as well that are much more moderately priced, I will say you'll never need to replace these. They're metal and they just will live forever, which is why, you know, they charge so much. Um, But, you know, the away suitcases, I have the two big silver away cases, which we can show in the travel section. And they're just like big tins and they fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, So, you know, whatever your price range, I mean, there are nice suitcases everywhere. I always say just, just, you know, try to have, it, it will make you feel better if you're pulling up somewhere and you've got a nice little aesthetic going, Yeah. right? When you have all the mix and match stuff and everything looks messy, you don't feel good about yourself. And so, um, you know. Hit up Macy's. I'm sure they have a lot of good. There's so much great stuff. Yeah, so so you just get yourself like a little, a little set. And, um, you know, Bricks has some really cute sets. I had a Bricks set too that I really liked and I bet Macy's carries them. Um, but you know, I can put up some options for you guys that are a a range of prices that you will, uh, really, really enjoy. And so that's it from your outfit. You want to be able to run, 
right? How many times we had to run? <laughs> we had to run twice, <laughs> right? And thank God. And by the way, you got to be prepared. We were on the Amtrak <laughs> and we were in conversation. And ahead of time, I said, Kelsey, pack up your stuff because you don't want to be doing it at the last minute. And luckily we did because we were chatty Cathy's and then we forgot to get off the train and we had a bullet off the train. But if you're wearing uncomfortable shoes or uncomfortable items, it's going to be a lot harder, right? Absolutely. And, <laughs> and then just, Kelsey swipes back to her photo. <laughs> just, just for comedy. <laughs> Kelsey. I wish you could Maria. close up on the boots, <laughs> but yeah. oh. you guys can take our word oh, for I it. Oh, I can. Oh, you can? Yep. Yeah. Let me give they a They were little... really big, heavy boots. You guys, I have them. so stupid. I did, I did it once. I traveled in them and I was like, never again. Because <laughs> yeah. also, I don't know if it happens to you, but when <laughs> so I wear horrible. socks with them, my socks go under. You know, I don't really get that as much because I usually wear like the tall socks with them. Yeah, I've done that too. And they still go under? Yeah. Oh, boo. Yeah, but it was silly because I honestly, these aren't even my typical docs I wear. I I wore these for the outfit that I was going to wear like the day of Macy's. Like I literally could have worn anything else. Anything else I did not need to bring these. It was yeah. very silly. So now, and Maria's talking about like, you could still look cute at the airport. I looked stupid wearing these at the airport. It wasn't even like. No, you didn't look stupid. Well, clean. thank that's, you. That's not possible, but. <laughs> thank you. I felt, but it, it, felt wasn't, it wasn't comfortable right. and it's not an easy right. travel experience. Well, it also just wasn't. I'm like, you know, when sometimes you have to sacrifice at the air. Well, no, now you don't. Now I'm learning. I feel like sometimes I have to sacrifice at the airport if something won't fit in my like luggage. I'm yes. like, oh, I'll wear that on the plane. So you kind of sometimes have like a mismatched uh -huh. outfit. That's how I felt. I'm never doing it again. Never bringing boots I don't need to. I've been there. I've worn certain things thinking, oh, I'll just wear it because right. it's bigger, right? Like I have a big sweatshirt. I'll just wear it because it's bigger, but it's got to be comfy, guys. It's got to be easy and got to be able to move and groove. Move and groove. That's it. Um, so friends, go to mariamenunos.com. We will have our travel page up. We will have, uh, didn't we have something to put in the homepage too? Yep. We're going to do, we're redoing the home section. So we're going to move the mesh bags to the travel section. That's why we're talking about home. Okay. But yeah, the uh, shop page is getting a little facelift. So check her out. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, you can also check out my curated page at Macy's.com backslash better together. Uh, I will put some suitcase options up there for you guys as well. Um, it's curated with all my favorite things. I'm, uh, I've cleaned up some of it. I'm going to kind of keep turning things over. So I'll take things off. I'll put fresh stuff up there because I realized I'm kind of like, oh, I've already seen this and I've seen this. So I'm freshening it up for you guys. Um, and then before we go, I want to um, also mention our 25 tier members that we love. And we're so grateful that you guys are on this journey with us. Uh, Trisha Daly, Donna Woodhouse, Michelle Kroviak, Will, Will, um, Will me. I hope I will help me. I hope I said that right. Lisa Firestone, Priya Darshini, Sharon Morrison, Kelsey Littlefield, Valerie Whetstone, Renee Lopez, Linda Trahan, Joey Friend, Marie Pagli Paliganoff, Morgan Hisson, Karen Bobe, Lisa Cooney, Elena Carmichael, Pam, Pam Lucier, Julie Tolick Prest, um, Beth Glass, Bailey Hurd, Anne Marie Packwood, Jessica Rink, Lynn, Claire Stebman, Miranda Stuper, Jessica Hosek, Stephanie Green Bass, Edward Looney, Tanya Janik, Elena Mifsud, Shannon Stern, Anne F. Mediadis, Leslie Besk, Katina, Papa Nicolao Ligdas, Teresa Palmer, Bobby Diamond, Elisa Hart. Heiberger, Brett Burr, Alexandra Simos, Helen Vlamis, Heather Goldman, Leah Tringali, Joanna G, Sandy Garfield, Anne Marie Jennings, Aspen Grant, and Alicia Gonzalez. Thank you, friends, for being with us. Also, want to share an Apple Pod review with you all from Java Jane. Better Together has helped me change my life in so many ways. I love the information provided by the experts and also Maria's perspective, which is totally relatable. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm so grateful that Maria has introduced me to the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza. Oh, wow. Java Jane, thank you so much. Um, I am um, really grateful for you guys being on the journey with us. And I'm really grateful that the Dr. Joe stuff is helping. We had a we had our heel event and it was really great to do, um, to lead one for the first time where everybody was asking me questions and, uh, and have that exchange with everybody and just hearing, um, I think it was Carolyn Taylor who had already done the Dr. Joe stuff and was really having a good experience makes me so happy. So, um, I'm really, really happy about that. And, um, 
I had a really great time on that Hill event. So friends, if you haven't joined us on Patreon, click the link in the bio on Better Together with Maria or the link down in the summary here uh, and join us. $10 a month, you get ad-free shows and you get our monthly Heal events where we are one-on-one and you have more direct access to some of these amazing experts. You can ask them your own question and uh, it's pretty cool. It was really cool. It was really fun. I like I've said this before, but I always love watching you go into um, expert mode because you know so much. And sometimes I don't think you realize you know so much. So I love when you get (laughs) I'm like, Maria, oh, my God, wait, say that again. So I love watch or I love. Yeah. Getting to watch you do that. And I know how much it meant to all of them, too. So we'll have to do a part two with you because that was very fun. I really, really enjoyed it. I forget that. I guess I have stuff to share too, because I'm so used to having other people here sharing. And I was like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. Anyway, friends, uh, thanks for being with us on this Monday. Hope you guys have an amazing week ahead. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to Monday Motivations and Intentions, um, we are starting your Monday off in a whole different way. We know we do that here, but if you only have a few minutes for a little primer that will inspire you for your week, subscribe on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. It's called Monday Motivations and Intentions. Little teeny, quick bite-sized things to get your week started off right and your Monday started off great. Um, In the meantime, be nice people, make good choices, and be present. This podcast and all related content published or distributed by or on behalf of Maria Menunos or mariamenunos.com is for informational purposes only and may include information that is general in nature and that is not specific to you. Any information or opinions expressed or contained herein are not intended to serve as or replace medical advice, nor to diagnose, prescribe, or treat any disease, condition, illness, or injury, and you should consult the healthcare professional of your choice regarding all matters concerning your health, including before beginning any exercise, weight loss, or healthcare program. If you have or suspect you may have a healthcare emergency, please contact a qualified healthcare professional for treatment. Any information or opinions provided by a guest expert or host featured within website or on company's podcast are their own, not those of Maria Menounos or the company. Accordingly, Maria Menounos and the company cannot be responsible for any results or consequences or actions you may take based on information or opinions.